learning to water start without straps is your first step into the whole strapless foiling world. The water start is very similar to water start on the strapless surfboard. However, there are a few key differences which you have to keep in mind. First, you'll need to get your feet on the board. As you don't have any straps to hold the board above the water, you'll have to do this very quickly. First, you need to get the board positioned in front of you. I push the board out in front of myself, holding the board by the rail with my back hand. Note that I'm edging the board up. I'm not letting the board go flat on the water. If I let the board go flat on the water, it will be almost impossible to get any leverage on it and do a successful water start. As soon as I have the board in a good position, I immediately plant my feet on the board and also immediately start pulling on my front hand to dive the kite. My back hand is holding the board until I feel that I have some power to push the board. Only then do I let go with my back hand and return it to the bar. It is really important to make your body as small as possible, so bring your shoulders as close to your knees as you can. This is especially important in very light winds when you don't have so much power. The more you lean back, the more power you will need to get pulled up onto the board. In very light winds, it can help to position the kite on the opposite side of the wind window. So for example here, I've positioned it on the right and I sweep it low across the window to get enough power to start. So let's recap. Rail the board up in front of you using your back hand. Dive the kite by pulling on your front hand. Leave your back hand on the board until you feel power. Remember to make yourself small by bringing your shoulders to your knees. This will reduce the amount of power you need to get up. Getting the timing right can be tricky at first, but stick with it and you'll get it eventually. So now that you can water start strapless and can ride, the next step is to learn how to turn around. So check out the next video how to do a strapless foiling jibe or check out the touchdown jibe tutorial from the first series. See you on the water and have fun.